guys, Thomas back with another Linson's video. Who's with me? Thailand, known as Batman. Known as Batman in the house, but I got three fragrances that were kind of some favorites of mine as a teenager growing up. And I got him to smell them so he can tell you which ones he likes. Okay, these are fragrances that were out way before he was born. So, you know, he's never smelled these until now. Uh, but... Uh, before we get into that, I just want to say thank you guys again. It is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices, whether it's that cell phone, that tablet, that laptop, that Macintosh, that brand new big screen TV, whether you watch me at home, at work, on a plane, a train, or an automobile. Where else might they watch? School. At school? Are you watching me at school? Yes. During recess? Yes. Recess? You don't get recess anymore. Are you watching me during lunch hours? Or yeah. Mm, okay. Well, if you are watching me at school, hopefully you are in middle school or high school because if you're uh, watching me during those uh learning hours you should be uh, getting back into the books but if you are kudos to you anyways again i got three fragrances in front of me these were fragrances that were some staples back in the day before this collection got so huge these were the ones that you know i had to get mom to buy them or dad to buy them and they bought them for me and these were the ones that you would buy because they were the hype and they were the hype train, and all because of the names, okay? And uh, you guys all know what they are as soon as I show them to you. But we're going to see if he likes them. And this is actually a good video for the youngsters. If you got a youngster in your family that's starting to get into those fragrance, maybe he's starting to date. Are you starting to date? A hey, girlfriend at school or something? Yeah. You got a couple girlfriends at school? Just one. Just one. Just one. Okay, that's good. Keep it to one. Uh, but sometimes you got to smell good for the ladies, right? You smell good for the ladies? Mm -hmm. All right. So let's see which one of these he likes, okay? So we'll start off. Now, this is not the original that I had, okay? The original was the regular Nautica Sale. This one is Nautica Voyage. Still a old fragrance. Came out in like 2005, I believe. So it's pretty much on the outdated side of things. This one gets hyped up by Jeremy Fragrance a lot. It's one of the best cheapies around. 20 bucks you can get it this is kind of like a blue aquatic oceany outdoorsy type scent so what do you think of it yeah it definitely that smells like an ocean to me it smells like an ocean like outdoorsy and stuff. yeah uh, it smells kind of like beachy and stuff yeah let's what see you... what happens i spent yeah it still smells the same thing good right mm -hmm. smells real good don't get that in your eyes, you guys. That could uh, go you can go blind uh, if you get that in your eye. But that again, Nautical Voyage, less than twenty bucks, depending on where you get it. Sometimes you can get it for like fifteen. So, Nautical Voyage definitely smells good. Would you wear that one? Yeah, I wear that one. You would wear that one. Okay, next up, you guys already know when it came to clothing, Tommy Hilfiger, Polo, Guess, those were pretty much like the thing back in the nineties. And this fragrance is basically nostalgia in a bottle. This is Tommy Hilfiger. You guys remember the iconic white and red with the blue. All the colors on that Tommy. This was like the guy. If you had money, if you had a little bit of money, this was the uh, fragrance or slash clothing line you would have. Unfortunately, we were broke growing up. We had the generic Tommy. So, uh, what do you think of that one? It should... It does smell like that alcohol. Still smells like alcohol. Mm -hmm. Not in my eyes. That way. Yeah, there you go. I said you smell it. I don't think it's alcohol. I think it's just like a like a green smell. Like it's green mm -hmm. and oh. kind of. Yeah, do that. Way. Yeah, it just smells like the alcohol thing. So. You know, that, that that's the thing. It's a lot of us have a different, our senses, our sense of smell is a little bit different. Now with me, yes, you do get a little bit of alcohol, but I'm getting a little bit of green, kind of fresh, kind of soft, like a musky smell. Um, that's what I get with this one. I actually like it. It's very versatile. In my opinion, you can wear this on a date. You can wear this during the day. You can wear this to work. Very versatile fragrance, in my opinion, Tommy Hilfiger, but... The sun says it just smells like alcohol. So, I mean, right there it kind of does, but. Okay, maybe smell it, but like kind of smell a little bit further away. Like, yeah, so. 
And so there you go. I mean, yes, there is a little hint of alcohol, but I'm smelling a little bit of green and stuff like that. He is not. So obviously that will be one that he does not want to wear. That one's for a little bit older gentleman, though. Okay? So last but not least, you guys know this was an iconic fragrance back in the day, too. This is from Davidoff. This is that cool water. This one is going to be kind of like that, again, almost watery, minty, fresh, citrusy, uh, minty kind of smell, but... Uh, very good fragrance. Let's see what the son thinks about it. See if he can smell it, or does it just smell like alcohol again? That smells like water to me. Like water? Yeah. Smell one more time. I'm getting water and kind of like this green yeah. minty, like yeah, leaves. Yeah, like green it's like leaves. Yeah. Like leaves and watery and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Get any kind of citrus at all? Like maybe like some kind of citrusy smell or anything? No, I don't smell anything. All right, so, you know, that is, you know, obviously there's a, a, a fragrance here that he smelled very nicely and he actually gravitated to the most. Uh, if you would have to say out of those three, which one was your favorite? I would say the... the this one? The, yeah, the Voyager. Nautical Voyage? Again, you can't go wrong with this one. However, I'm going to bring in one more into play real quick. Now, uh, this one is a good one but i think there's a blue fragrance that's a little bit better so if you guys you know if you're uh into these type of fragrances like this the blues the cheap but maybe you want something a little different maybe everyone else has nautical voyage again it's like the top selling fragrance of all time on like amazon i personally like this one a little bit better this is bois de cidre and this is uh from carl lagerfeld so we'll see if this uh wild card can take out this or is this the best one Wow, that smells pretty good. Smell it again? Wow. Uh, uh, you still like this one better? Or what? Yeah, I do like that one better. Let's... Yeah. You smell it. Uh huh? You smell it. it. Smells good, man. What are you talking about? I know. What the? What are you talking about? It smells good to me. I know. You like to just pick something different just because you think you're different? Yeah. Yes. Well, there you have it. He thinks Nautica Voyage is the best in this lineup. Let me know if you guys have smelled all four of these or maybe just the three. And let me know which one your favorite is. But in my opinion, I think the Tommy is the best of these three, followed probably by this one and then the Cool Water. So that would be my opinion right there. But those are fragrances that I enjoyed as a teenager like his age how old are you anyways 15 all right so 15 year old at around 15 i was rocking the original nautica the original nautica you guys remember the adidas moves uh we had the michael jordan cologne that one was iconic too i wish i had that one but uh anyways that is that we're gonna get up out of here hopefully you guys enjoyed that video and if you guys did hit the likes comment subscribe we'll see you next time peace hey.